Hello, friends. Today we will discuss one of the confrontations that arouse the greatest interest among hypothetical animal fights lovers. We will talk about two of the most famous and beloved animals the gorilla, the most powerful pound for pound mammal, and the lion, the king of beasts. I will not keep you in suspense at all and I will tell you from the beginning that those who think that gorilla has real chances to win this fight will not like this video at all. Personally, it seems to me one of the most unbalanced fights on this channel so far. I chose to talk about this confrontation just because some of you asked me to do it. I specify that I chose to talk about these two species in general, including all existing subspecies. So I did not consider the Barbary lion, which no longer lives in the wild. Thus, calculating an average weight for these two animals, I obtained 375 pounds or 170 kilograms for the gorilla and 397 pounds or 180 kilograms for the lion. As you can see, the difference in weight between these two animals is almost insignificant. Put face to face, our fighters will look like this. I said at the beginning of the video that the gorilla is the most powerful pound for pound mammal, and then I said that I don't think it has a real chance of winning this fight. I am convinced that these two statements have confused many of you, so I will explain what I mean. I would not want you to understand that I challenge the colossal strength of the gorilla. But I would like you to know that expressions like, the gorilla is n times stronger than the average man, are often exaggerated and confusing. The fact that we humans are so fascinated by these animals precisely because they look so much like us, has led to this often used practice of comparing the power of the gorilla with that of man. When someone says that a certain gorilla is nine times stronger than an average man, it usually refers to the fact that the gorilla could lift a weight nine times higher than the one lifted by man. Those who believe such statements should know that this impressive quality of the gorilla is not only due to the colossal power of its upper body muscles, but also to the anatomy of its body. In addition, this statement is misleading from other points of view. We are not told, for example, what the exact weight this average man can lift is. It would be much easier to work with concrete figures. And you should also know that this is actually an estimate made based on the weights lifted by a chimpanzee. Anyway, maybe I'm wrong, but if you have videos with a gorilla lifting weights of 4,000 pounds on a bench press as some say, I would be very curious to see them too. We will assume, however, that these statements are true. Okay, maybe the gorilla can lift nine times more than the average man but that doesn't mean she can kick a soccer ball nine times as hard as the same man. That is why I say that such expressions create confusion. A lion, for example, cannot lift as much weight as a gorilla, primarily because his body's anatomy does not allow it. But I assure you that if you put a lion and a gorilla to compete in what we call, tug of war, or, rope war, you may have a surprise and the gorilla will lose. In such a competition, the lion has the advantage of its four-legged position with the center of gravity below, the claws that act as spikes that give it more grip, its greater weight, and the fact that its strength is more evenly distributed. The gorilla, on the other hand, has the most strength in the upper body, which in such a competition does not help her so much. What I want you to remember from all this is that, although the gorilla has an impressive power, it is not much stronger in the absolute terms than a cat of the same size. There have been cases in which a single lion crushed the skull of a cattle with a single paw, or in which such an animal alone shot down an African buffalo weighing over 1,500 pounds. I hope you still don't get the impression that a 375 pounds gorilla is stronger than an African buffalo weighing over 1,500 pounds. And even if we admit that the gorilla would be much stronger than a lion of the same size, it is important to try to imagine how the gorilla could use this advantage to kill a much better armed and more experienced opponent. I honestly did not find any realistic possibility and I will explain why. The gorilla's advantages are its colossal strength, its powerful jaws with canines up to 2 inches long that can exert a pressure of 1,300 pounds per square inch, superior intelligence and opposable fingers, similar to those of man. In addition, despite the massiveness of his body, the gorilla is capable of explosive movements and is a talented acrobat. On the other hand, the lion is one of the most effective killers in the animal world. His main weapons are the jaws armed with canines up to 2.5 inches long that can bite with an estimated force of 650 to 1,000 pounds per square inch. Some believe that the force of a lion's bite is even greater than that, but that doesn't even matter here. 
What really matters is that the lion's jaws, which have an opening of up to 12 inches, are armed with carnivorous teeth, made especially for piercing and tearing flesh. And, just as important is that the lion uses its jaws much more often for this purpose. The gorilla's jaws, although they can exert a greater force, do not have such a wide opening, they do not have specialized dentition for tearing prey, and they are designed especially for crushing wood materials. In addition, the gorilla uses these jaws much less often in combat, the main purpose of its canines being to intimidate opponents. But the lion's main weapons in this fight are not the jaws and teeth, but the claws. Like any feline, the lion has strong retractable claws up to 1.6 inches long. These claws are as sharp as razors and are, if you will, the lion's superpower in this confrontation. You should know that anthropoids lack a subcutaneous muscle called paniculus carnosus. This is a sheet of muscle that attaches to skin and makes it loose and maneuverable. Animals that lack this muscle have very tight-fitting skin that offers little resistance to the traction applied by clawing, and therefore easily cuts open. Moreover, animals that lack this muscle have blood vessels positioned perpendicular to the body wall, rather than parallel. This makes these animals much more vulnerable to claw wounds. Therefore, the skin of gorillas is easily clawed open and is prone to bleeding profusely. So, I think this is the key to this match. I am convinced that the gorilla will not be able to get close enough to the lion to use its giant canines. I believe that every attempt of the gorilla to strike with his fists or palms will be counteracted by strong blows of the paw, which will cause massive bleeding to the sensitive skin of the gorilla. It is very likely that the lion will even be able to section one of its main blood vessels, as often happens in fights with other lions. Although the gorilla certainly has more stamina than the lion, I think the wounds it will receive will weaken it enough to give way first. I don't think that the gorilla's strong blows will cause great problems to the lion, as long as it manages to successfully avoid the devastating hoof blows of the animals it usually hunts. In this way I imagine this fight and I consider that the gorilla should be satisfied if he manages to win one out of ten such confrontations. I know most people consider gorillas a kind of supernatural animal that can defeat even grizzly bears, but I'm not here to feed you these fantasies. I found this text on a website whose link you can find in the description. Gorilla strength is estimated to be about 10 times their body weight. Fully grown silverbacks are actually stronger than 20 adult humans combined. A silverback gorilla can lift 4,000 pounds on a bench press, while a well-trained man can only lift up to 885 pounds. Research shows that a gorilla can lift up to 27 times their full body weight. I am absolutely convinced that such information has been taken over by other click-loving sites, so I'm not surprised that these animals have become so overrated. But I can't believe for anything in the world that a gorilla weighing even 590 pounds is stronger than 20 adult humans, or that a 375-pound gorilla can lift 10,125 pounds or 4,600 kilograms, as these people say here. So, even accepting that the gorilla is stronger than the lion at relatively equal sizes, I see this match as one between a bodybuilding champion and an MMA champion armed with knives. Even if the first one is stronger, the second one knows the fighting techniques, he knows how to defend himself and attack, and in addition he has some great extra weapons. And if you want another proof that this fight can have no other result, you should know that, contrary to popular belief, leopards hunt quite often even adult male gorillas. There are many reports of such cases, I would say quite a lot considering how difficult it is to observe these animals in their natural environment. And if a leopard up to 200 pounds is able to successfully hunt these animals, I'm absolutely sure that a lion twice as big as a leopard will have no trouble defeating them in a face-to-face -face fight. And because I know that in vain I put the sources in the description because no one checks them, I leave you to follow some evidence. And what's really interesting is that the leopard doesn't even use its jaws to kill these animals, but most of the time it will cut off the blood vessels with its claws, to make them bleed as much as possible. Thank you for your attention, take care of yourself and your loved ones.